Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. In this video, I am going to give you basic overview of Oracle VBCS page development. I created one VBCS page and using that page only, I will show you the basic details of VBCS. Then in next videos, I will explain you each and everything by creating the element using that element in VBCS page and developing the VBCS. Let's begin with the page. So here you can see. I created one VVCS page and that page you can see the first we have the icon, we have the our company's logo and the name. And then you can see we created one page, the registration form page. This is the heading of that page, employee registration form. And here we have basic information. So whatever data we will select or insert here and by clicking on this create button, the same data will be inserted into the database, VVCS database that is business object. So what is business object, how that is working, what is the event behind this button, everything we will learn one by one. So this is the first video of that VVCS tutorial. That's why I'm just going to give you a basic brief about that. So here you can see if I am going to insert the data, first name, give you that around and the last name as Zephyr and say gender as male. So here you can see this is list down or we can say that the combo box and here we have so here let me select the email and the department so suppose i am going to give department at cm and suppose in email box if we will remove this at the right it means this is not valid email and when click outside it will throw an error so that kind of things how we can add all these things we are going to learn in next videos so here once we will click on this create button this data will be inserted into the database and the once data is inserted, here you can see we have one pop up the data inserted successfully. The page moved to the next page where we have given the simple details like congratulations around record has been successfully inserted. That kind of things we are going to learn. So here you can see we created the page. Let me show you the basic details of that. So here you can see this is the VVCS developer, visual builder developer page. Here you can see this is the same page. I created here and I show you once we'll click on back, it will move to the back page. And here you can see the design of this one. So this is all the text box and the label we added here. This is a button and all this thing. So if you will see, check the properties of any element. Once I will click here, you can see the, the right hand side we have properties. And here you can see all the details. The label we added first name, that is the label and all these details. So whatever data we are going to hit here, you can see once click on data, you can see the variable bind with this text box. You can see this is the variable and event all these things we have. Here you can see we have button. In this button we added the event to insert this data into the database. That is database in case of visual builder that is business object. So here you can see once I click here in the create and here in the event you can see we have one event on that create button. That you can see event name that button action chain. So here event whenever we are saying that event is be in VBCS, it's a chain, action chain. So here you can see one we created action chain. If I will click on this action chain, all these things, whatever we added, you will be able to see that one. So here you can see this is the details of the action chain or the event. So what we have done, we added a sign. So whatever data user insert in this one, right, in the text box, the same data we inserted in variable. And then with the help of REST call, the business object REST call, we inserted the data into the database. And after that, we added the condition by switch. If data inserted successfully, then fire notification like data inserted successfully. If data not inserted successfully, throw an error. Error while inserting data into database table, all these things. So this is the action chain. It means the flow whatever flow we want to add or develop on that and here you can see once this showing we change the page so here you can see we have the navigate to page main success so once data inserted successfully we move to the another page so that's the things here all these things don't worry about that all the things we are going to explain you one by one in next videos this is just for basic overview purpose so this is action chain here you can see once i will go to the navigate to the page designer this is our page and everything, whatever we are adding on the page, right? The same behind that it's working code. So if you will click on this code part, here you can see we have written code for each and every line. Here you can see we have three buttons. So you can see the label of button that create, update, delete. And here you can see we have the input text. Input text box for first name, last name, gender, all these things. 
for gender we have combo box you can see we given the hard coded value aesthetic value for the combo box male female others all these things we have here and here you can see this is the code part of the page this is the designer where we are designing so all the element whatever element we are designing we can design directly by writing the code or here we have in the component option we have option to drag and drop the components so all these things here you can see this is the text box if i will search here text you can see the input text email text number text phone text and here you can see we have label you can see label even we have the heading all the components we can take and we can drag and drop here all these things we are going to learn in next video don't worry about that and here i told you that for each and every page we have database for each and every application we have data and in vbcs database means that business object and here you can see in this application we have the page this page is that main start if i will click here in this icon the application icon you can see we have the web page and we created web page with the name of web application with the name of registration form and inside the main you can see we have three two different different pages main start you can see this is the main start page and this is the main success page this is the same page we are able to get once click on the create button you can see here we added the logo we added the name so now you can see we have different page if we want to navigate to the previous page you can see here we have tab and in the tab we have all these things so main start is our main page even we have option to set that when application will start when this page will be rolled what will be the basic page so here if you will see the main once we click on main in setting you can see we have the flow setting and here in flow setting i added the main page as main start or default page as main starts all these things we have option we will learn each and everything each and every page right for each and every page we have the you can see this is the footer part once i will click here that will be removed here you can see this is the header part and this is the footer part in here header we have logo and the name and footer you can see created by fox oracle app solution at the right copyright all these things you can add these things you can remove this thing for all these things for each and every page here you can see in the fragment we have the cell footer this is the cell footer the same we are seeing here right here you can see i will explain you everything don't worry about that here you can see this is the design so each and every page whatever page we will create this footer will be same for page and here you can see we have the cell header cell header will be same for each and every page here we design that we design this header in a such a way that first we have image and this is the heading even same you can check the code here here you can see the title we added h5 header 5 as fox oracle app solution this is the image we added so all these things you can do now here you can see the business object here once we will click here you can see this is the business object business object means database so here you can see we created three business object that address employee phone so what are data we insert that inserted into employee database so once i will click here you can see employee database having the data all the data we inserted so we inserted one data as aaron zafar this is the last row if i will insert one more record you can suppose you can box oracle box or excel at gmail.com oh i see once i will click on this create you can see the data will be reflected here once i will refresh here you can see fox oracle the oic fox mail 72 this is the id automatically generated last name first name all this thing similarly we have all you can see in the field we have the columns all the columns we define we can create new columns we can delete we can add a relationship everything we are going to learn so don't worry about that i uh, will create videos separate videos where we will learn all these things how can we design what are the components element everything we will learn one by one thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries that you want to ask anything you can make a comment on that in the videos description i will provide you the whatsapp group link you can join that whatsapp group for discussion Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe this channel.